One of the biggest reasons to use Flutterflow to build your next app is that you're given lots and lots of widgets that you can use when you're building any kind of an app, regardless if it's a very simple app or a very complex production ready app. Now, the issue with lots of these widgets is they're fairly basic. I mean, they kind of do the job, but if you're trying to build a serious production app that you want to go viral, that you want to serve lots and lots of users, chances are these widgets are not going to be enough. You need to customize them in many ways. You need to add more functionality to them, et cetera, et cetera. And so after asking my supporters, what kind of widgets do you use in your apps and what kind of widgets do you want to see become more customizable, become more complex, and that will allow you in turn to build your apps quicker and with a lot less hassle, I got a list of some awesome suggestions. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you widgets that I took and upgraded and made them more powerful, more customizable, and a lot more flexible, which means you can easily use them inside of your apps, whether this is an app that you're working on right now, or an app that you're planning to build. Now, before we get started, as always, all the apps and all the resources that I discuss on the channel, you can view and or clone them when you become a member of our amazing Patreon community. And if you're still not a member, then you can become one via the first link in the description below the video. Now, here I am in Flutterflow, and to show you what I mean, I can simply drag a widget that gets used a lot. And this is a calendar widget, right? So here's a calendar widget, and you're seeing this widget here. Now, this is a good widget to kind of get started with right this is a good widget if you're building some kind of a calendar app but this is not enough if you're looking to do something more serious okay it's just not enough it doesn't give you enough views it doesn't give you enough events it's just not enough period and so this is a great example of a widget that you can take and bring it to the next level which is exactly what i did in today's video and so let me show you an app that i built using some of these upgraded widgets that can do a lot more than what is provided to you by Flutterflow out of the box. And then I'm going to show you exactly how you can do the same. And so right now you're looking at the proof of concept app that I built that displays some of these more powerful and more customizable widgets. But before I show you how I did everything, let's go ahead and run the app so that you can see some of these more powerful widgets in action and in fact we are going to be running the app on a simulator and the way that you do it is you can simply come here and click this button to execute flutterflow local run and so the first widget that i want to show to you is an upgraded calendar widget that can do a lot more than the stock flutterflow widget and is a widget that you can easily integrate into your app. And so the first thing that I want to show you is the different views that you have access to. Okay, so we have this week view. You click here. We also have the day view. So you're seeing different uh, items here. You also have two weeks. You have the month view and you have the year view. And so that way you can see all the different appointments uh in the year view right for the entire year now of course you can also click here and that's going to uh go to the next year if you click here you're gonna go back this moves back this here moves forward and so that those are the different views apart from that you have different functionality so you can easily add appointments so for instance let's say i want to add an appointment i just type new appointment here and i type the date let's say this is um you know may 8th and the time let's say something like this hit save and now if i go to my month view i should see a new appointment right here now if i click on it i can edit it right so i can change it to let's say new appointment five hit save and that is saved there okay i can also delete it if i click here it's gone and you don't see the little dot these little dots signify the appointments okay so if i click here i should see three appointments i click here i see one appointment etc etc and so not only do you have multiple views but you also have the ability to add or remove different appointments now you may have noticed that in the day view you have this button and this button why do we need two buttons well the reason we have two buttons is that 
let's say you want to implement your own button because remember this thing here is a widget right so this is kind of fixed okay let's say you don't want this button here let's say you want to create your own button in flutter flow uh, maybe it's going to be a different color you want to, to to have some different text or you just want to customize this button and that is absolutely fine because this widget allows you to completely integrate with your app so if i click here i can create a new appointment and i just did i created a sample appointment automatically which you can obviously customize to have anything that you want so if i go back to month you see i created this test appointment so if i delete it click here that appointment is back okay because this button all it does is create a hard-coded appointment in flutterflow that you can customize to have any appointment that you want now there's more another thing that you can do is you can drag and drop appointments to rearrange them right so let's say we are looking at this newly created appointment for may 18th well let's say i want to have this appointment on may 20th let's say may 18th is a saturday and i realize that i'm not working on a saturday so i'll only be able to take care of it on the 20th all i need to do is drag it right here and if i drag it now we have this appointment here right so we have drag and drop support that the original widget does not have in fact many of the things that we can do here the original widget cannot do but there is more okay so if we go back to our app here and we have this widget here you have various callbacks that let your app know that an event has happened okay so if the user creates an appointment you have a callback if the user updated an appointment, you have a callback. If the user deleted, you have a callback. If the user drag and dropped an appointment to kind of rearrange the date, right? To change the date for the appointment, you have a callback. And if the user changed the view, you have a callback. Now, what does this mean? What, what do these callbacks mean? Well, it means you have a flow. You can do anything that you want, right? So let's say the view has changed. Well, I can come here and I can add an action and I can do something. Okay. I can maybe save it to a file maybe i can uh show a snag bar right i could just show a snag bar and say a view changed okay the point is i have flexibility these callbacks is what gives my app flexibility it gives my app freedom right now where is the data for this calendar right where is the data being stored well the data being stored is actually your app state right so we have these entries here and if I go to app state, we have entries and these are the entries. So initially we start off with five entries, but this is app state. You can change it any way you want. You can download it from a, a database, a super base, put it into app state, send it to a widget as a parameter right here, and you're good to go. And that's going to be manipulating your app state. And the last argument here is you can specify the initial view. Do you want the initial view to be view, month, year, day, two week, et cetera, et cetera. You can do all that. And so this means that this widget is completely plug and play, right? You can easily just drop it and you're going to be notified of all the events, right? So you can easily create a booking system. You can easily tell the user what's happening. You can save it to a database if you want. You have freedom to do everything, right? This widget is extremely, extremely powerful. Now, how is this widget built? Well, if we jump over here and you go into this Calendar Pro widget, behind the scenes, we're actually using another widget to achieve this effect. And this is a table calendar widget, right? So if you jump over here, we have this table calendar and you can search for it on pop.dev now of course table calendar is not as flexible as the widget that i showed you now that is because i simply took table calendar and i adapted it i made it a lot more flexible i gave you callbacks i gave you different arguments that you can send i tied it to your app now it's tightly integrated with flutterflow which means that you can simply use it quickly and easily and that means you can easily build all kinds of production ready user-friendly apps that rely on this calendar functionality now the next widget that i want to show you is another widget that a lot of people wanted to see improved wanted to see have more features wanted to see taken to a new level and that is an audio widget okay so if you jump into Flutterflow and you want to, let's say, use an audio, right? So if you come over here and you can simply click here and you can 
type and you have an audio player and this is the stock flutter flow audio player okay so we have the audio title you have the play button and you have some uh time stamps right so that you can see where you are uh in the audio okay and also the duration as well so i took it a couple of steps further okay we also have the name we also have this display here but we also have a seek button so you can seek backwards 10 seconds you can seek forwards 10 seconds we have a speed controller okay so you can decide what kind of speed you know you may want to listen to this audio or if you're making an app for some users they can choose the actual speed that they want to listen that specific track on right so they can choose let's say they want to do it at two time two x or they want to do it at three x or they want to do it at half x which is half the speed and so this way you can easily play any of the tracks right and it's also fully customizable if you come over here and you have this audio you can give it an audio name you can also give it an audio url and you also have callbacks as well just like with the previous widget okay that can be used for you know giving notifications to your app that something has happened okay and so this way when playback has started you have a callback playback pause you have a callback playback stop for whatever reason you have a callback and if a playback has finished you have a callback now we're not done just yet so remember this here is a widget okay this is my flutterflow app okay because you can also control this widget from your flutterflow app think of it as a remote control okay your main app here can control this widget here okay so as an example let's say i click this button here and as you can see it's going to start playing okay it's moving and it's playing whatever that musical track is in the background right i can also seek it seek it here i can seek back okay and, and it keeps playing right if i increase it uh, it's going to play faster as you can see right there it's playing faster and if i put it back to 1x it's going to play at normal speed now i can pause it here and now it's paused but i can also control it from here and this is a built-in flutterflow button right so which means this widget here is fully controllable from another app from another page somewhere else right so in other words if you want to have this widget here but you want to control it from the app right so let's say you know maybe you have a situation you know on page load you want the, the the widget to start playing the track well you can do that right because if i click here and that's going to play it automatically right so it says here playing is true and you see how that's playing and i didn't even click anything on the widget so if i click here again it pauses right it stops it playing is false and as you can see it's not playing okay so this is fully controllable from anywhere else from my hosted page from a component from another page from you know maybe you have some kind of a menu here you can you can completely control this widget uh from somewhere else which is extremely extremely powerful because i've seen lots of people requesting this functionality and how exactly is this built well if we come over here this is called audio player pro i'm making use of a package called audio player right here audio players in fact and this is a very very standard but fairly basic package that you can use to build all kinds of audio playing kind of you know widgets having to do with audio right that the user may need to play seek etc cetera, etc cetera. and so what i did was i took this package and i customized it for flutterflow i gave it lots and lots of options I gave it the ability to send different callbacks. As you can see, you have various callbacks here as arguments, as action arguments here. And I also gave it an ability to be controlled by another page, another widget, you name it, right? A different menu, whatever the case may be, it's fully integrated with your Flutterflow app. And so you're essentially getting very, very powerful functionality instead of something that looks like this something very very simple and basic you get something that's a lot more powerful okay now the next widget that i want to show you is another widget that a lot of people have been requesting and that is a video player and more specifically this is going to be a youtube video player right and this is called a youtube pro widget 
So if you come over here to your Flutterflow and let's say you type video player or YouTube player, this is what you're going to be seeing, right? And it's actually loading a video, right? So this is exactly what you're going to be seeing, right? And there's no subtitles. There's not a lot of controls. There's not a lot of things that you can do. Whereas this widget here, right? If I play it here, look at this. You have subtitles. You have a seek bar. You also have the speed that you can control as well just like with the previous widget right normal speed 2x 0.25x if you want you have lots and lots of functionality you can also make it full screen as well and of course just like with the previous widget you can control it remotely right so this here is a widget right this here is a widget we also have video information so i can display the name of the video here right but all of this is a widget this is a button here right so if you come over here you can see that this here is a button and so i can click it and that's going to play the video with the subtitles i can click it again and that's going to pause it back again now this widget also comes with callbacks that notify your app that something has happened so we have two callbacks playing started playing stop and by the way if you want to see more customizations maybe more callbacks or you know having the widget to do something else i'm going to be taking suggestions on our patreon message board so you can leave a comment let me know and i'm going to be continuously upgrading this widget so that you get more features and more functionality and as a result all you need to do is input the video id of a youtube video that you want to display and have the user play and you're going to be getting your callbacks here you're going to be tracking stay that that's why you can easily control it from here and you're going to be getting a ton of additional functionality over the built-in flutterflow widget and i know lots and lots of people have been asking for more powerful video and youtube based widgets so that they can give their users more controls as well as have more options as software developers as well now last but not least i want to show you a widget that doesn't really exist as part of flutterflow but i found it to be a very important widget that you need to have as part of your arsenal and this is an order status widget or any kind of status widget and this is going to be an important widget anytime you're building like an e-commerce app or an app like Glovo or DoorDash or Uber Eats. So any kind of an app where a status of something is important, right? And this widget allows you to display a status of something, maybe an order status or status of something else in a very um, user-friendly way, okay? So for instance, if I come back here, if I reload it, you can see this nice animation okay so the current status is delivering and you can fully customize this widget right so if we jump back to flutterflow here this is this widget here and all you need to do is pass in your statuses which is a list of strings and so these are going to be new working delivering delivery in this case but in your case they could be something else you also need to give it the current status, right? So in this case, this is delivering. Next, you're going to be giving it a non-active color followed by an active color, which is going to be the colors that you're going to be seeing on this bar here, right? So we have this as the active color and this as a non-active color in this specific app followed by the animation duration, right? How long you want that animation to take place? Do you want it to be fast? Do you want it to be slow? And last but not least, you're going to be giving it an orientation parameter, okay? So one means that this is going to be a horizontal orientation, but anything except one, so something like a two, is going to be a vertical orientation, right? So from top to bottom. And so here I change the colors to red being a non-active color, whereas this blue here, the slider blue, is the active color. And as a result, you have a slightly different animation now i can also change the animation duration so let's say i want the animation to be very very slow so over the course of five seconds so if i do that you see how slow it is and that is because it has five seconds to finish the automation okay which might be a nice use case for your specific app depending on what you're doing and last but not least i can also change the orientation here 
and that's going to create this kind of flow so i can come back here and you're going to be seeing this animation from top to bottom and so depending on your preferences and your specific app use case you may choose to have an orientation that's horizontal or an orientation that's vertical all of that is completely customizable here i'm customizing it in the code but you're going to be customizing it in flutterflow here so you're going to be customizing it from here now how exactly is this widget built and so if we jump over here this widget is called progress pro and i basically coded this widget from scratch this widget is not based on any other tool it's not based on any other package i just felt this is going to be a nice addition to your widgets arsenal and that way you can easily uh implement this nice kind of order status widget in your apps and remember you can simply feed it the values from anywhere right status could be uh, fed from app state or page state or superbase or you name it status names could be like a fixed list or you can also get them from superbase as well the fact that we have all of these parameters make this widget very very customizable and you can easily integrate it into your apps without worrying about any of the changes that you may need to make and so i hope you guys will find these widgets helpful i know i definitely will be using them in my own apps because they can do so much and you have all of these callbacks you have all of these parameters and this means that regardless of what you're trying to do you'll be able to quickly and easily integrate any of these widgets with your apps now just like how i mentioned earlier you'll be able to view and or clone all of these widgets from my amazing patreon community and we're going to be doing something new this time as well if you guys check out these widgets and you decide well i want some extra functionality it's not doing a and i wanted to do b and it's not doing this or that if you guys want to see more customizations you guys can let me know in our patreon community and that way later on I will create a new version of these widgets with some of the suggestions that you guys have provided. And this way, hopefully, these widgets will be able to accommodate all kinds of different apps that you guys may be building, whether it's very, very simple apps or fairly complex production ready apps and also keep in mind when you are a member of our amazing patreon community you're going to be getting access to all my apps and every single app in the future that i demonstrate show you it's always going to be inside of our amazing patreon community plus you're going to be getting access to more content and more importantly you're going to be supporting this channel and supporting my work and as you can see it takes some time to kind of build out these widgets and so your support is greatly appreciated and if any of this sounds like it's going to provide you with some level of value then i hope to see you inside of our amazing patreon community interacting with other members there